turn around one more time for you guys. Remember that ponytail's right there. Hey everyone, welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, my name is Natasha. I did want to do another video slash update for you guys. I have been getting a lot of questions about my clip-in extensions. How do I take care of them? How do they last so long? I usually use Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Shampoo because they do get a little oily. So if you guys wanna see how I wash my clip-in extensions, and maybe I'll show you how I install them as well at the end of this video, please keep watching. Let me first start out by mentioning I've had these clip-ins for a little over a year and the first time I've washed them was probably when I got them and now that six months has gone by I definitely need to wash them again because that dry shampoo comes in handy but you want to make sure your clip-ins smell really good. So run them under water, grab your Swab Professional shampoo, put I would say bigger than a quarter size in your hands especially if you haven't washed your clip-ins in a good six months. Hey girl, Oh, hello. <laughs> Make sure that you rub your clip-ins together. And the reason why I rub them is because I don't want them to get tangled. I am running my clip-ins under warm water. And then I just kind of rinse the shampoo out of the hair, avoiding the wefts, because there is glue. Once again, I am repeating the step of washing my clip-ins. I keep wanting to say hi to you guys. I don't know what's going on. Now I did mention I do try to avoid the wefts because I do add a little bit of glue. Rinsing off all of my extensions, taking my Swab Professional Conditioner, and I'm gonna rub this on my ends. Now I do put my extensions through a lot of heat damage, so I wanna make sure these extensions last for a long time. So that is why I let them sit for about 10 minutes. When they are complete, I do run cold water. I grab my extension, grab a brush, and comb the extension out because we don't want them to get tangled. And I'm going to continue to do this with every extension. But look how much conditioner is still in there. So that is why I kind of let them sit in the sink. Once I'm done, I grab all my clips. And like I said, I just want to make sure that all products are out of these extension, especially the glue. Taking my towel that I put over the sink, I just lay my extensions out at that point. I make sure that I get rid of all the additional water that is in my extensions and they look super thin right now. But you can see when I put them back in my head that they are once again thick. So I'm just going to pin this hair back. So this is the hair that I usually put away. I do try to grease my scalp every day with the Dew Grill. This is the hair vitalizer, and this is for triple strength. This is for extremely damaged hair. I put this like around my edges just so they stay moisturized. And then I'm also gonna take some coconut oil. This is the hair milk. And I'm just going to place a little bit in my hands, rub it together. Now that I put my hair in a ponytail, I'm kind of just going to twist the hair like this. Now I'm just going to wrap it around the ponytail. With my clip-ins, what I started doing is when I start to see that the clips are a little damaged just from all the use, I add kind of like a wig cap and this kind of separates my real hair from the clip. So none of my hair gets stuck on the clip. I have had that happen before. I think that's how I'm gonna start making all my clip-ins is by adding this wig cap. And this first clip does have three clips that I attach to my head. And also, when I make my clip-ins, because I like them to be thick, especially since I'm tying up some of my hair, I do add four wefts. One clip. Clip. The next one I'm gonna do, just gonna comb this out. Now, this one has three clips as well. Once again, this still has four whips, but this one has four clips on it.
last clip has one, two, three, four, five clips on it. This side of my hair is a lot longer than this side, so I do use more of this side over here. So I'm gonna stay forward as I attach this clip. So clip one is down, clip two is down, clip three is down, and then I am gonna do clip four right here. And then this clip stays right here. So now I'm going to take all my clips out. Let me turn around so you guys can see me combing this. And you see that these clips are still shiny. They still have a lot of bounce. Due to that shampoo, they smell so good. It smells like a perfume. Look at them. Let me turn around one more time for you guys. Remember that ponytail's right there? I wanted to show you guys how I clip in my extensions, how I use this as a protective hairstyle. You can keep clip-in extensions for a very long time, as long as you take care of them. I am happy that I can show you guys what they look like in my head as well. So that was like pretty cool, because I know a lot of people have questions about protective styling, especially since I do leave a leave out. I just feel like clip-ins just look super natural for me, so that is why I continue to do them. Anytime you are adding any type of extensions to your hair. You might wanna braid your hair, do like the little ponytail method that I do as well. And this is going to help your hair stay healthy and you can damage the fake hair. Try not to damage your real hair. That is why I use these additional products to make sure my hair stays flawless. So I just wanna thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my tutorials. It makes me feel so fuzzy inside when I get so many comments and likes. I really do appreciate it. But until my next video, of course, I miss you guys and I will see you guys soon. Bye.